everyone and welcome! Vasco here from the Angular University. This is the exercise section for the services and HTTP part of our course. What we are going to implement here is a type ahead. What we are going to do is, whenever the user types on this search box here, we are going to send an AJAX request to the server so that we search for a lesson with this keyword in its description and we are going to get back a result that we want to display on the screen. Now, what we want to do is, as long as the user types on the input box, each time that he types a key, we should send a request to the server. We could throttle this, but this will make it more interesting. We send a request to the server. Now, if the user types very fast and the new search is available before the result comes back from the server, what we want to do is to cancel the previous request. So, let's give it a try. We are going to give you a hand on this. You will need access to the DOM element of the input box. We are simply going to make it available to you here in this input variable. We have used a lifecycle method after view init. This is a lifecycle hook that gets triggered once the view is completely initialized. We will get into this in future courses. Remember, you can tap into the stream of key up events in the input box using observable from event. Now let's have a look at how the lesson service was improved in order to accommodate the search functionality. What we're doing here is we are passing in an optional parameter, search. You can see that it's optional because it's initialized in the method declaration with a default value. So if the parameter is not present in the method call, the default value will be taken instead. This is another nice TypeScript functionality that we have available to us. Now the search parameter is passed on to the backend via the HTTP GET call as a URL parameter. In the backend, we'll see that we will check if the search parameter is filled in and if so, we are going to filter the array of lessons returned in order to search for the keyword provided. So it's just a very simple implementation for our exercise. If you want to see cancellation in action, you can always call the delayed lessons method on the backend instead. It also implements the search functionality. So, good luck with the exercise, have fun, I think it's a really good example of the power of RxJS and this new functionality that Angular 2 provides us. It's really clear that we can implement certain things that before were rather hard to implement. Now, don't forget, in the next lesson we are going to present the exercise solution. So, stay tuned!